Welcome back to the video series on the uh, play framework using Scala. If you are following this playlist in order, uh, I'm just going to give you some ad advanced warning. There, you will see that A, I'm using VS Code for this video instead of Eclipse, which the videos have used up until this point. Also, there is a bit more code present in the uh, project, but here again, I'm only going to hit on the things that we've done in previous videos in the playlist. So basically, we're going to work with the things for our first implementation of the task list. The goal of this video is to cover testing, okay? at least testing of that first version of our task list. And the first thing I want to test is just the model. This is the easiest thing for us to test because we can test it using very straightforward standard unit testing capabilities. Now the play framework has support for two different Scala test frameworks, Scala test and specs two. I am going to work with Scala test of the original project. And so we have a page in their, their documentation that gives a lot of information about how to do testing. It goes actually well beyond what I'm going to, to show in these videos. And so I do strongly recommend that you consider going to, to look at it. Uh, the project came with two tests in here that are using specs two. So uh, they will look a little bit different than what I'm going to write. So in this video, as I said, the first thing I'm going to test is our model, uh, which should be a fairly straightforward application of Scala test. So let's go ahead and So a task list model spec dot Scala, and I guess we can put in the in memory here. We will at some point in the future write one that uses a database, and we might want to have a test for it. So note this is a in a directory called test, which is inside of our server uh, directory. Okay, test is not nested inside of app or conf or any of the things that we've been playing with so far. It's just a separate directory at the top level in the, uh, in the server. I do not have a package inside of here. Uh, right now, these tests are just at the top level, and they'll all be run that way. If you start getting a lot of tests, you might actually want to put in some packages and organize them in that fashion, but we're not going to have enough. For, for that to really necessarily be required here. Okay, so we're gonna make this a class and we are going to say that it extends the play spec. Okay, and I am going to, so that I can get away with having one import here, I'm just going to make the import be of org playtest plus uh, Scala test plus play and everything that's inside of that. And now we can write our tests. Okay. The format for doing this turns out the play spec brings in something called must matchers. And so one of the things about uh, Scala test, if you're used to, for example, JUnit, uh, JUnit tests look very much like code where you've just annotated things with uh, annotations like at test. Many of the Scala testing frameworks, including Scala test, take a, an approach that is more like writing, uh, reading standard prose. So for example, the first thing we might test for, for this would be, because we started this off with some elements in it, I wanna make sure that validate user on uh, mark and pass gives back true. Okay, so our task list in memory model must, and then we're going to put a block of code, and we get to say the various things that it must do for us. So uh, do valid login for default user. Okay. And I want that to happen in a block of code. So these must 
and ends are really methods. And if we hover over, you can see how they're, how they're working here. Um, that we are just passing blocks of code into. And in this case, okay, so I want to call the task list in memory model dot we want to validate user oh and is this this is an object okay though I believe it is inside of models so validate user and we can give the uh, username which in this case is mark and the password of pass and this must be the value true okay so once again the the style of Scala test uh, testing is very much in this standard prose a lot of it is highly readable uh, once you have written it now it can take some time to figure out what the different things you can do in here are Fortunately, Scala test has quite a bit of documentation. So if you were to uh, go out and do a search for Scala test and look at their documentation, you can see all the various elements that are enabled to you. The question is, well, how might we run this test? So if we go to our running SVT, and I'm actually going to stop the server. I did that just by hitting enter, by the way. And then I run test. It will go through and it will compile our code. And some of those tests were the ones that were provided. I haven't checked to see if those actually pass. Uh, apparently they do. And so we got valid testing here for the task list uh, in memory model spec. Similarly, I would like to reject a login I want to reject logins in several ways. So I want to reject the login that has the correct username but the wrong password. So that must be false. And with the wrong username. And again, we could hit test and go through. Uh, turns out some of these, the uh, tests that were given there using specs to are, are things that we'll see in a few videos where they're actually bringing up a web browser. That's why they're printing out so much stuff. Okay, so both of those tests pass in addition to our original one. That's good to see. What else should we test? I'm in reality, we should run through and check all of these methods to make sure that they work and do what we want. Let's go ahead and let's write one for creating a new user. Actually, how about I go with the <clears throat> get tasks because we've verified right now these are dealing with just kind of the default. Create, adding, and removing are altering things in the model. So I just want to make sure that there's stuff in my default data that is working correctly kind of as a, a first level. So we'll call get tasks on the username mark. Uh, it must get correct default tasks in. So the task list memory model dot get tasks with mark must be and in this case it's actually this list of values and that one especially since we just copied over the the result there should almost certainly pass as well We'll come back in the next video, we'll write a few more tests for our model, and then we'll look at how we can write tests for things that aren't just 
the models in the videos after that.